The AEM7 is one of the hardest locomotives to reskin on this game, Train Simulator 2012. But I finally managed to repaint one to look like a New Jersey Transit Out 44. In this video, I'll teach you how to reskin the AEM7 from Virtual Beach Grove to look like a SEPTA AEM7, and how to fix all the errors that's going to create. This is the locomotive we're going to be reskinning, the Amtrak AEM7 AC Phase 5. To first, first to reskin it, of course you want to copy it because if you repaint the original, of course you're going to have an Amtrak locomotive looking like a SEPTA one. So right click on it and click clone. That'll create a copy of the locomotive. Now click on it and press Control Shift C to edit it in Content Creator Plus. And now this message will pop up, just click OK. And now the next thing I want to do is, of course, rename it. Because you don't want two Amtrak AEM7s, so that's going to make it harder to figure out which one is the one you rescan. So I'm going to rename it. SEPTA AEM-7 because that's the locomotive we're going to reskin it to. Okay, the, and now the fun part, making edits to the locomotive before, um, before saving it. The first thing I'm going to do is change the interior. Let's see, I could give it an Acela Express cab. What else do I have? Actually, I decided to give it a, a TGV cab. I'm going to keep the Pantograph, obviously, because it's an Amtrak one. Okay, engine spec is the same. Engine sound. Hmm, I'm not really sure if I want to change that. I'm not sure what type of horn the SEPTA AE AEM7 has, so I'll keep it a K5LA. Let's see, what else do I need to change? That's pretty much it. Then control S to save the changes. And then exit out of that. Click on this and press control M to commit it. Not control N. Control N is for creating a new object. Let's see. It didn't commit, so I have to do it again. And again, sometimes you have to do it multiple times with this game for some reason. And a fourth time. Okay, now. Okay, now it's faulty. We have to fix that error or else it won't show up in the game. So let's see what the error is. Or the errors. The texture.txt file is missing for texture resource AEM7, art, and track, Acela, EX, HSEL, art, 512, dot texture and art icon dot texture. I finally found out how to fix those errors. Those were the main ones that made it hard harder to rescan. First you click on it and press Control Shift E. All this just so, you, so we can rescan it. We haven't even gotten to the rescanning part yet. Okay, double click the art folder. These are the textures. They need a texture dot text file. So, we have to create one. Right click, highlight new, and then click text document. Now it has to have a special name because of the way the scripting works. I'm going to call this one Amtrak. Oh, it has to be lowercase. Okay, Amtrak underscore. Acela EX underscore HSEL underscore art underscore five twelve dot texture dot TXT now I have to create another one for the art icon file. I named this one Amtrak Acela HSC I mean Acela EX HSEL Art Icon Texture I mean icon.texture.txt. 
Now I have to right click on each of these files I just made. I'm going to start with the 512 one. Now I have to create some kind of scripting to allow it to read these files. First, uh, primary, oops, let's see, primary equals, let's see, which one I'm doing, 512? Okay, just copy all of this, and then paste it here, oops. Primary equals Amtrak Acela EX HSEL Art 512 dot texture. And then enter tile equals ST. This works for all textures that you're making a texture file for. Just get just say primary equals the the texture file that needs to have a texture dot text file and then under that tile equals st primary has to be the first letter has to be capitalized and tile has to be two st has to be in lowercase and it has to have the exact file name or it's not going to work okay what's next i have to, I have to edit this texture dot text file Okay, in this one I type primary equals Amtrak Acela EX HSEL Art Icon dot Texture Tile equals ST. Now these two files have a um, texture dot text file. Hopefully that fixes the error. If not, there's something. There's another step you have to do. So Control M to see if it works. And it's still faulty. Let's see what the error is. It still says the texture.txt file is missing. Okay, here's another thing you can do to fix that problem. Control Shift E again, and then once again go into the art file. Now, we already have a texture.txt file, so we must be having a problem with this .texture file. What I usually do is I convert it to a different type of file, and then I rename this. I rename um. I don't rename, I retype the information into this to match the new file type I changed it to. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this 512.texture and icon.texture. I'm going to change them to JPG files because those have a lot less errors in them than these .texture files. To do that, I need this thing called uh, PevSoft Images to TGA. Right click on that. Okay, file, open, let me see, editing, it should be in SEPTA AEM7, okay, here it is, and now go to the art folder, and open, first I'll start with the 512 one, okay, file, save as, let's see, I'll give it a dot, jpg dot jpg put it in the art file and then just click save let me see okay now the art dot 512 texture is in here so now I can take this texture dot text file and name it after this one instead it has to have the same name though but I'm going to change the information that's inside it. Get rid of this texture.txt one. Instead, put the 512.jpg. .jpg. Oops. And then, Control S to save that. Okay, first I'm gonna commit it to make sure what I did is working. If it is, the 512 error should go away. Okay, the error still isn't gone, so here's what I'm gonna do. Here's what I'm gonna do now. Oh, that's the wrong file. The art file. I'm going to delete the dot texture one. Wait, before I do that, let me make sure this tech this um, JPG file works. Okay, it works. I'm not really sure why it really why why it's so important that it has this file. It's really just a picture of the Acela Express. 
which has nothing to do with the locomotive at all, but for some reason it's so important. Okay, now I'm going to delete the dot .texture file that this is replacing. Let me make sure. Let's see. Okay, now let's see what happens. The 512 error has disappeared. Now I just have to get uh, get rid of this art icon error. The same thing I did with the other one. Control Shift E. Go to the art file, and then let's see this this icon dot texture file is the next one we have to edit using this PevSoft images to TGA thing. Click file, open. Let's see, here it is. And track Acela EX HSEL art icon dot texture. Open that file. It's just another picture of the Acela Express, which for some reason matters. So file, save as, give it the same name, but type JPG instead at the end of it. I mean, no, not J, not JPG. Dot JPG. <laughs> Okay, now it should save that. Okay, the JPG file is here. Now I just have to get rid of the texture dot I mean the texture file. And then let's see. Copy this. Paste it here and then put dot jpg at the end of this oh yeah and control s to save it and now control m The locomotive is now non-faulty. We can now begin reskinning, but I'm almost out of footage, so this is going to be the first part. On the second part, I'll teach you how to actually reskin it.